The NBN is nearing its completion, but not everyone is planning to sign up. Competition from wireless internet is now a serious alternative. Certainly is. Our tech expert, Juro Sen, has been testing the 5G Optus Home broadband service, a service rather, and he joins us from his home in Sydney. Good morning to you, Juro. Certainly been a lot of buzz about this. How hard was it to set up? Good morning, Tim and uh, Janie. Uh, surprisingly, it was really easy to set up and uh, here is the unit right here. It is the size of a trash can and uh, it's uh, pretty big, but I can tell you what, uh, once you get it connected, it works really well. So you get a series of instructions to uh, set it up and it's not just easy because you have to put it in the right place because 5G is absolutely determined and it's imperative that you put it in the right spot. Now I've got it near a window on the top floor here at our place and as you can see, it searches, those dots tell you where your tower is and uh, it depends where you are, whether you get access. And as you can see, that red light isn't good. But once you get a good signal, I put it out on the uh, balcony where I am last night, and I've got a big green signal. That means I can get amazing speeds, better than the NBN, far better than the NBN. And that's what you want, that big green light. And uh, it, it's also, you know, it depends on where you live, as I said, and how far away from the tower you are. See here, it can tell exactly where I am, 850 metres away from the Alptus Tower on the hill, which is actually right behind me. And it gives you instructions. If you put this in your basement or in your garage or something like that, you won't get the signal. But up here on the top floor, over my shoulder, you could probably see it is the Optus Tower. But I'm one of the lucky ones because uh, even though I've missed out on the NBN running across the street until recently, uh, I have had the fortune of having a 5G cell tower less than a kilometre from me. And that's a fairly length, big length of uh, uh, distance when it comes to 5G because it only works over short distances. I suppose most importantly, the question to ask you today, Juro, is it seems a very extravagant way of working from home. <laughs> I'll do anything to work from home, but I'd I still love to come in and see you guys, and I'll be in there next week for sure. But this is the bra, it's Maroubra. You wouldn't want to be anywhere else, but even though it's a bit overcast. The other thing, too, is wanting to experiment with the, the speeds here, and they're absolutely phenomenal. So you'd be aware that uh, the current speed limit for the National Broadband Network is 100 megabits a second down. Look at these tests I performed. This was the other day. This is approaching 300 megabits down. But when the upload speed was tested, I only got about 20 megabits down. Now, I checked that with Optus. They told me that at the moment they plan to just have around 20 megabits up. But I tested again yesterday afternoon. And once again, look at that speed coming down. You can get all the 4K movies you want with that speed. But the test up went up to close to 50 megabits per second. Now, I don't know if that's supposed to happen so soon. But Optus did tell me in a statement that they will be improving the service as time goes on. But at the moment, it's very limited service and not many Australians can get it. OK, so limited service, not many people can get it. Do you think it's going to be an NBN killer at all? I think it will be an NBN killer for most people, but not yet. So the reason for that is it's so hard to put out the 5G network to a big amount of people. At the moment, only 100,000 people can do it. The best way to find out if you can get one of these towers pumping 5G to you and you can pick up one of these big modems is to just enter your address into the Optus website. You'll know very quickly. I did it, took two days to turn around and I've been pumping it down. Now, it all hasn't been smooth sailing. Uh, if you've got security cameras and things like that, I've found a lot of interruptions in the live feed going up. So it's a little bit hit and miss with the consistency, but it's early days yet and really, really promising. And, man, it's so fast. Where is it available? I, I know you've just mentioned uh, for people at home watching, they can just jump on and have a look. But uh, where, where basically is it? Is it in every city? Is it in regional areas? Is it in country towns? Yeah. Yeah, they've, they've dotted it around Australia so far, Tim, but uh, the, the spots are so very, very small, limited to just towers here and there. And if you look at the whole of Australia, 100,000 people, that's not many spots when it comes to, to putting it out to the Australian public. But they hope to really ramp up those cell towers down the track. Very different approach to Telstra. Telstra went hard for mobiles. And 5G, you've got to be really careful. If I stand in front of this unit while it's on, it's going to stop the signal coming through at maximum. 5G, there's a lot of it, but it's very weak compared 
to the normal 4G. It doesn't penetrate buildings like 4G does. So glass, wood, anything else in the way will slow it down. So you've got to be close to a tower uh, and that's when you get the most advantage. All right. Now, Amazon, Giro, has a, a new Echo speaker, I believe. Uh, musicians are raving about it. Yeah, audio files are going nuts for this. And because Amazon, as you know, if you call Alexa, uh, usually has a nice sound, but not a great speaker. But check this out. This thing is huge. And uh, that's not a mail slot. That's where the air goes out. But this thing's got five speakers inside it. So this is Amazon's first really good speaker system. And I tried it out last night and it works what do really your well. Think? <laughs> well, it was about midnight too, Tim, so I don't know if I appreciate it, but the thing is, it's pretty good. It's got all the um, controls on the front, and of course, the very important thing that I always tell people about, a hardwired switch here that turns the microphone off, so you don't want your personal assistant listening when you don't want it to listen, but the sound is really good. They're saying that you could possibly re replace your stereo system. I don't think these sort of speakers are at that level yet, but it's really good and very simple to uh, sign up. Believe it or not, I've been in the Google system uh, strongly and only in the Google system for a long time. So this is my first uh, Alexa device that I've had in my home and it's a very impressive one. It retails for $329 and to have a speaker that is that good uh, for $329 that can do all the stuff that Alexa does is pretty good value. I was testing it with TNT last night. Tim, you'd appreciate oh. that one. Yeah, so did the rest of Maruba. It sounds like <laughs> TNT at midnight, bit of Akka Daka. Yeah, but look the, look, the real good thing about those is, look, it's reasonably large, but if you're going away and you've got a large suitcase, bang, in it goes, and everywhere you travel to, whether you've got the family and you've got the speaker, hook it up to the phone and away you go. Exactly. And you can get other ones that are sort of battery powered. But the great thing about this is that other speaker systems have put Alexa in them or the, the digital assistants. Amazon's just decided, well, we may as well make a good speaker. And they've done a lot of research to get this one right. And I've got to say, it's very impressive. You can have multiple ones as well. You can have a left and right speaker. So you could make this like your entertainment system on either side of your uh, television. So you combine it with a subwoofer. And that's one hell of a speaker system, all for what, you know, uh, 600, 700 bucks. So that's mm. pretty good value. So that's a pretty good speaker. I know you'd be rocking on those <laughs> classics, Neil Diamond, uh, Janie and Tim. Yep, yeah, a bit of Elton John. <laughs> yeah, a bit of, bit of crunchy granola from Neil Diamond and, <laughs> yeah, a bit of Mondo Rock Thanks, from Australian Giro. Rock. Good on you, Jira. Mondo Rock. Great backdrop, man. Watch out for the storms. All yeah, right. Thank you. I'll get inside and I'll see you in the studio next week. Perfect. Okay, buddy.